welcome to the Quilt Roadie channel. This is a channel about everything in the quilting world, whether it be fabric, hand applique, embroidery, needle turn, hexes, wool, anything that you'd find in a quilt store you will find is a part of my world. I love it everything in a quilt store. And this is going to be part two of the adventure with um, Cheryl, Audrey, and I. And Cheryl is one half of Stitching with the Sisterlies, and the other half is Colleen. Audrey is Stitchy Witch 42. She is not a quilter, although we still have high hopes for that. She did buy a wool kit on this trip. Um, but both of them have floss tube channels. And floss tube is a series of YouTube channels that predominantly have to do with cross stitch. Although as with most stitchers of any kind, there's a lot in the world of crafting and sewing. Uh, so this channel, Quilt Roadies, is, as um, those who have been here for a bit know, it's about my quilting world, which is insane, I have to say. It is insane. I um, have been having a little bit of trouble uh, lately with trying not to browbeat myself over stupid things, you know, stupid things. Um, I, I tried to work on that this year. You know, my word is, uh, I pick a word of the year every year, and this year was contentment. I am basically contented, except when I can't find something, or I can't understand something, or... Um, yeah, it makes no sense to me. Uh, it would be better if I... It would be more peaceful here if I actually read directions, if I could understand the directions from someone on the other side of the world that wrote them, thinking that I would understand them. It's like this whole thing. And the reason I'm whining a little bit here is because I had a project that I'm working on, and I needed to use this, um, I need to use this snap setter. You know, it's a snap setter. It, when I opened it up, it, I, I think I've seen one of these in the OR. Yeah, and, and then it came with a whole box, a whole box of, um, snaps and kind of like a picture diagram. I have no idea what is wrong with me. I cannot figure the sucker out. I'm going to have to ask G um, if he can figure it out because I really want to. It'd probably help if I could uh, figure out directions, but that has never been my forte. Um, never been my forte. I did go to, today was Wooly Wednesday. Did I already say that? I don't know if I already said that. But I went to Wooly Wednesday because I had a project. And let me tell you, it was, it was fabulous. Because there's nothing better than getting together with friends from all walks of life, all different... Um, what they love to do in the quilting world brings them together, but they have all different backgrounds. They have, you know, it's just, I don't know what people do that don't have a hobby like this. I, I can't imagine what my world would be like if I didn't have all of these women in it um, that bring so much thought and helpfulness to my quilting world. Although sometimes I just like want to be a little snarky. I don't know. Okay, so I decided I was taking this project 
It's Wooly Wednesday. I said I'm going to take a wool project. I'm making this for a girlfriend. Um, but being somewhat self-centered, I thought to myself, if I had really looked at this pattern and seen how many flowers, flowers there are. Yes, are you getting me? And I showed this last time. I don't even know where the pattern is. Where's the pattern? Oh, it's going in front of me. <laughs> you know, so, you know, yeah. I thought, okay, I'm going to take them and just trace them there because then it's a no-brainer. I can sit and talk, enjoy the company while I'm doing something that I would probably not be able to sit and do at home because I would have been distracted by something else. And so as I'm, I, I'm using, you know, because I'm going to fuse these suckers down, as I'm tracing this, yes, I traced this onto, you know, the transferees. I believe it was Kate who was sitting across from me, said, can't you run that through the copy machine? And my brain kind of went blankety, 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 blank. And I said, well, if I had thought of it, maybe. But I just wanted to come here and do something boring so I could talk. But now I kind of feel like a dummy, like there might have been an easier way to do this. And then someone said wonder why she printed them all out on this paper. Why didn't she do like 10 and say repeat? Okay. Yeah. We quilters have opinions. Yeah. We have opinions. Anyway, I have all of mine hand drawn on my transferees. And I'm going to fuse it on my wool and come out. I just, yeah. But it was wonderful because um, for for a kind of luck or a blessing, I should say, uh, a good portion of the Willy Wednesday, Willy, <laughs> Wooly Wednesday. I feel like Audrey right now. Uh, no, Wooly Wednesday group are also acorns and threads cross-stitchers. So I see them cross-stitching. Yeah. So it's kind of fun. Uh, with that said, it was kind of fun. But I got very excited. I try not to... Um, I try not to shop too much. I try to have a little bit of reservation, but... Uh, or, or reserve... But you know you can't. I mean, you're in the middle of a quilt shop. But I told you I got this kit um, on a previous video. I uh, shared that I had picked up this kit because I absolutely love it. It speaks to me and my family history. And through the suggestion of several, even though I had looked all over the place, I was directed directly to Edita's um, Laundry Basket Quilt site and bought the kit. The interesting part about this, and I don't know if this was a packing error or I don't know something because now uh, I actually have to read the directions. The kit came with, you know, the fabric for the sailboat. This is the binding. And this is the background, the sky. So, um, and then the rest of it here is made with a jelly roll. And according to the pattern, it says one jelly roll. But I was sent two jelly rolls. So I guess I'm going to have to read the directions and maybe find out whether there was um, uh, some of these that are not usable. You have to take them out. 
yeah, I can't tell. Um, but what I have been doing lately is I have been stockpiling quilt patterns for fall and winter quilting. Um, you know, getting ready. It's kind of like a bear getting ready to hibernate. And I'm going to be hibernating more in my uh, beehive. And so I'm stacking projects up that I want to make this winter. Well, when I was at Pioneer Quilts, which is a bucket list shop in the Portland, Oregon area, I was walking into the classroom space where we stitch. And on the way in, it's uh, the place is, um, if you're not familiar with it, it's on an old um, historic farmstead. And so there's different buildings that are connected by glass walkway and beautiful gardens, um, like a silo type tower. Um, it's just lovely. It's just lovely. And if you can't find something to sew in there, I'm thinking that you need to have some medication. Anyway, with that said, I was walking into the classroom area to be able to sit down and stitch with my friends, and I was walking by the 108-inch backing fabrics, and they had gotten some new ones. And one of the ones they got was from Laundry Basket Quilts, and it was a full bolt of the Mariner's Compass. Well, I had to get it for the backing of my sailboat quilt. I think that's so cool. I think that's so cool. So that project is already waiting. The other project that I have set up is I shared with you, of course it's under a big pile of stuff, is Fat Quarter Shop's um, Breast Cancer Awareness Quilt Along. I am all about that one. I already know where that one is going. And um, there's another quilt that I'm waiting to come. And I'll share that at a future date. Anyway, um, this particular video is going to be about stop two of the Epic Girlfriend trip. It is to Mayhem Quilts. And if you are ever at the town of Snohomish, is uh, lovely. It has a whole historic district. It has beautiful farmland around it. Uh, it's just absolutely lovely. But this quilt shop is 17,000 square feet of quilting goodness. So not only do you have a full quilt shop, you have they are a handy quilter dealer, and so you have um, upstairs is handy quilters, there are there are Bernina dealers, so there's a whole, it's in this huge building. They have a whole room of Berninas, um, embroidery machines, um, like I said, the full quilt shop, and classroom space, 17,000 square feet of quilting goodness. So, um, Snohomish, Washington is the place to be. Um, yeah, it was absolutely a fun, fun quilt shop. So now you'll get to um, walk around with me in the shop. And if you see anything that you would like and you're going to order, um, when you place an order with them or talk to them, um, please let them know where you saw it, as you should for all quilt or cross-stitch channels. It, uh, it reinforces for those shops that the risk they're taking by having us in their shop filming is worth it because it brings more business to them and that we are safe and fun people because, you know, we are. So please do that if you do see something that you love. Otherwise, put it on your bucket list when you're traveling through Washington, and I hope you enjoy this quilt shop as much as I did.
Stay tuned. And you know I love you guys. Hi everyone. Well, you're never going to believe it. I am at a second quilt shop called Quilting Quilting Mayhem. So I'm going to take you inside and we're going to go shopping. It looks amazing. So stay tuned. Let's go inside. Quilting Mayhem. Oh my gosh. From what I understand, the long arms are upstairs. Oh. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at this color. 